Hey guys, hello Don and Linda. Josh from Neymar Trailer Sales. So speaking with you on the phone. So here's your video of the kind of the walkthrough of the Arctic Fox 32A. I'm gonna do my best to keep it nice and steady while I'm kind of going around measuring things for you. Um, Cause I do want it all in one video so you don't have to do any links or anything like that. Oh, excuse me. All right, so here's the outdoor storage compartment. Um, it is pass-through. So you can see there's a wide uh, opening there. Um, light switch in here as well, you know, so it can light up. And then on the far side there, you got your battery disconnect, um, which I'll go on the other side there. Uh, just getting the measuring tape out here. Um, one second, while I do this with one hand. <clears throat> so the width, um, in this first pass-through storage compartment it's gonna be about 25 inches long um, so it is quite wide you know you can put a lot of stuff in there and that's just the first storage here um, keep going around the side so here's this bedroom wardrobe slide storage compartment in there there's your cord for your 50 amp walking around a little bit. I do have the main slide in, so I'll show you that you can walk around and get to the fridge um, during travel. Goodyear Endurance tires, uh, 16 inch tires, so nice big tires on the unit. Over here you got your outdoor shower and then your 50 amp connection. Spare tire here. Got your roof ladder so you can walk on the roof gonna go back around here turn that light off all right so there would be um, again two 30 pound propane tanks and two interstate batteries the batteries are on there we would supply the propane tanks as well so here's the other side of your pass through storage compartment another light on this side again there's your battery disconnect um, just to give you a, a little bit uh, more I measured my forearm to the tip of the finger to tip of my fingers that's about 20 inches just for the door so you got some good room in your storage okay so the first door near the front Walking in, there's your bedroom. Your storage compartments here. Nice deep pocket storage. Sorry, hanging around here. Again, I'll get my tape measure out. Show you how deep this storage is. So basically from the wall, measured down here, you're looking at about 28 inches. Um, and that's in your bedroom. Kind of open all the storage up there. There's another pocket up on top of the bed. Nice deep storage again. There's my forearm hand. <clears throat> so that kind of goes all the way and then the other side deep storage again and there's my forearm so over 20 inches on the other side got a shelf drawer and a hamper on the left side here so this would be access to you know a laundry chute um, and access to your pass-through storage. And then on this unit, here's your wardrobe slide. So you can see quite a big closet in the bedroom compartment. Again, that's about the length of my forearm, so that's about 20 inches. 
So you got quite a bit of storage in the bedroom already. You know, you got drawers even underneath as well. So those will be all the same. One, two, three, four, five, six drawers. And then also bed. I don't know if you can see, but the bed does go up. So you have some storage underneath the bed. Those are outdoor chairs, so you get two Arctic Fox chairs on the outside. Again, from the bedroom, this is the bathroom here. So you access the bathroom from your bedroom door. That's me. Hello, it's Josh. A little bit of storage in there, about the length of my hand. So, you know, you got your medicine cabinet. There's your sink. Got your plug ins, your lights, storage underneath. You know, you got the piping underneath for your sink in your bathroom. There's the shower. Um, there is a small spot for seating. So, you know, you could sit down there as well. Skylight. Um, and I will check to see if we can get a bar somewhere in the shower for safety. So then I got the slide out, or excuse me, in. So you would have to go through the other door. And I'll show you in a second. But here's more storage. And that's... That's about the length of my uh, forearm again. So that's about 20 inch pocket there. Uh, three shelves in that one. There's your porcelain toilet. I will check to see if we can get that raised. Another pocket here in your bathroom with a mirror. All right. So now we'll go to the main living area. Outside you got what a 21 foot awning so quite a bit big awning on the outside there you got your compartment for your water heater 10 gallon water heater there's a lot or a garbage chute or a laundry chute all right now we're going in so again slide is in so I'm walking in, you would have these down for uh, travel, so you can access your fridge. Um, just get these chairs slid a little bit over. So there you go. You can access your fridge, your freezer, all while they're in travel. So that's a plus. All right, so I'm gonna put this slide out now. Hopefully I'm not making you guys too dizzy. You see above the theater seating you got more storage. I'm getting a little I think my battery on my golf cart's uh starting to die. I don't know if we got enough juice. Well I'll try to finish off some of this here I apologize I got the slide not working here um, so I'll just continue it since I got the video going um, again the slides not out I think my battery and my golf carts running low um, but here we go for some of the compartments you got one, two, three, four drawers. Um, there's your sink, stainless steel, two pocket sink there. Uh, compartments for your solar panel, so that you'd be looking to make sure your batteries are being charged off your solar panel. Um, kitchen light. Here's your heated holding tank system. So you got fresh gray and black. Uh, thermostat there as well. 
And then one thing you guys wanted to see under the sink. So there's a little bit of piping back there. And then there's your water heater there. So you do have a little bit, probably about a foot before you hit the pipes back there. And a little bit underneath. And this is again under the kitchen sink. Compartments for storage. That's probably about eight inches deep. And then you got a corner one, which is quite quite deep. I mean, that's that's bigger than my forearm, so that's over. That's probably about 30 inches. More storage. Big microwave, Furion microwave. Storage compartment on top. Um, your gas oven, your three top burner. One, two, three, four storage, more compartments. You got your windows, our, our crank. And then these windows on the side, these are the ones that go up and down. Those ones will pop out from the bottom. More storage. That's about a foot deep. So this is above your theater seating. Let's pocket it there. More storage in the rear. Quite a big pocket in the back. Now that's about another foot. So you got four in the rear of the coach. And you got swivel chairs in the back. And you got a little bit of storage um, underneath as well. And then there's your theater seating. So that'll have big middle compartment. So that's quite deep. That's about my forearm. That's about 20 inches deep. Inside is a uh, table trays. So actually you get a table tray on each side of the theater seating so you can put drinks or eat your food on it. Um, cup holders, massage and heated seats as well. And this compartment is unaccessible so I, I checked there's no way to get to it i would have to check with one of my techs if you can take that out or if there's wiring in there storage above the tv pretty deep got about 20 inches there as well nice big 42 inch tv as jensen model um got your entertainment center so a pocket for storage fireplace this is a dimplex brand so this is not furion this is dimplex um, and then you got all your compartments or uh, excuse me your panel for your slide uh, your awning and your gas and water heater and all that stuff um, and then lost my measuring tape um, so the kitchen One second here, I get this tape measure adjusted. Okay, so you got about four feet. So your kitchen measured to the edge of your fridge. You got about six feet. And then once this slide out is out, you're gonna have at least four feet going towards the slide so you got you know six feet by four feet in the kitchen that little square that you're talking about so um hopefully that answered your questions i apologize for the slide not working right now like i said my golf cart battery is running dry um so hopefully i can make it back to camp just kidding i'll be fine um so hopefully this answers most of your questions um, so if you do have more questions from here after this video or you want to see more pictures or more of a video, just uh, respond to this uh, email and we'll uh, get you taken care of. So um, hopefully I can answer most of your questions and um, hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks.